Boom Supersonic made history as its prototype aircraft, the XB-1, took its inaugural flight, marking a significant stride toward reintroducing commercial supersonic aviation. The XB-1 soared over the Mojave Desert, achieving a maximum altitude of 7,120 feet with a top speed of 283 miles per hour, landing safely after a 12-minute flight. Boom CEO says they're aiming to run about 15 test flights this year in hopes of eventually constructing and launching Overture, the first supersonic commercial aircraft since the Concorde. Boom has secured partnerships with major airlines like American and United, alongside collaborations with Florida Turbine Technologies and GE Additive. The aviation startup is forging ahead with its own engine development for Overture, promising three times the power of the XB-1's engines. In order to achieve the goal of supersonic commercial flights by 2030, the company says it comes with financial challenges. Boom hopes to raise more than $8 billion to develop Overture and XB-1 serves as a main fundraising tool for that goal. Boom is expected to face regulatory hurdles as there are current restrictions on sonic booms over land. Sustainability also remains a key concern as supersonic travel uses more fuel, exacerbating environmental impacts. The CEO says Boom is exploring sustainable aviation fuel to mitigate this. As XB-1 undergoes further testing, Boom is pressing on with its Greensboro, North Carolina superfactory ahead of schedule. It's where the overture is set to be constructed in the future.